All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in to another video. Um, today, I just wanted to touch base and kind of follow up with um, in regards to market structure. I know that, you know, the last few days or so, well, we're in, in, only into two days into the week already, but the market's been moving sideways. A lot of people have a hard time um, understanding the, the term wedge, okay, when the market is really not breaking any major structure to the upside or downside. And I want to talk about that today because uh, this gives a good example of what happened today, you know, um, which actually started formulating to yesterday's session and then moving over to today's session where we've got the market really getting tight, okay, meaning that it is consolidating and ranging. Uh, I know people are probably here trying to figure out oh, what tr trades it might take today. Um, I, did, I took a few small scalps today, been busy pretty much all day, but I, I took a nice, decent uh, short trade into the overnight session. I'm not going to go in detail about it, guys. If you're someone that's new for the first time watching the video, there's tons of videos on the channel um, to where I go into detail about my trades and, and break things down. According to using the strategy uh, surrounding supply and demand, so watch those videos, okay? Lots and lots of valuable, valuable content here on the channel, but... Today's more so talking about the market moving in a, in a, in a wedge or, or in sideways in a range and just can kind of consolidate, okay? And uh, when we trade break of uh, when we trade supply and demand, we all should know by now that supply and demand works best when we are in a trending market, okay? Uh, meaning to the upside or downside. That's when you get your, your, your best high probability setups, okay? When the market's kind of ranging, I'm not saying you can't trade supply and demand, but it makes it more difficult because, you know, you're, you're in a tight area, okay? Um, so, you know, this was a trade I took into the overnight session right here, the pullback to two in the area of supply because the market was uh, breaking structure to the downside. So we were making lower lows, lower highs. So my thought process was to really look for short entries. So I took a short, you know, at supply break and, and taking it back down to the lows, okay? So that was pretty much... You know, a trade I took into the overnight session before the market opened up today. Okay, um, today I took this little long scalp back to the upside uh, right here. Um, you know, and I took a couple more small trades like that throughout the session. Uh, but I'm, I don't want to go into detail about that about my, my trading today because I did a video uh, yesterday recording trades that I took. But now let's jump over because I want to take a look at the higher time frame chart because you should really focus on your higher time frame in reference to. Um, giving you a, you know, just letting you know which way you should trade, up or down, okay? We don't want to be trading when the market's moving sideways unless you've got tons of experience doing so, all right? Because a lot of people get chopped out of trades, you know, they lose money that way. So let's talk about consolidation. You know, the market is ranging, all right? And this is a prime example of what we see going on right here, all right? Well, what you see, you know, the last few days was, you know, the market, well, I say uh, since, I don't know, was it last... Uh, Thursday, Wednesday, last week, whenever, the market was making higher highs and higher lows to the upside, right? Which means that we were, uh, we could be looking for long entries, okay? We were breaking structure to the upside, all right? It broke this high here, all right? Pulls back, breaks up, and, and makes a new high, right? So these are the continuations of, of, of how the market flows, you know, when we're talking about breaking structures to the upside, uh, making new highs, okay? Making uh, uh, new higher lows and breaking structure again to the upside, okay? So the market then pulls back. This is uh, not quite yeah, yeah, yesterday's price action. Okay, right here, the market makes a high here. It pulls back. It breaks structure right here. So we break within this uh, major area or this major swing right here. Okay, we broke the, the first level back into it. We broke the first area of structure back into it. All right, and uh, so it broke to the downside. At that point, you could be looking for opportunities to go short. Right, That's what you think, right? But I do, when I'm looking for trade entries, I'm not always interested on the first break of a key area structure. I talked about this in the market structure video I did a few days ago. I like to see a lower high being formed and then a lower low. That tells me that, okay, I should be looking for lows, I mean, excuse me, for, for short entries now. But be mindful just as well, too, because, you know, we can be aiming for areas down below, right? Okay. But when the market, uh, if the market turns around and shifts and then makes a new, you know, uh, high to the upside, okay, meaning breaking structure back up, then you have to think again, okay, now the market is shifting again. So you want to start looking for long positions, right? Um, typically, when you see a big swing like this to the upside, and let's say price breaks below and breaks structure right below here at 
334. And then you have, you know, um, area to fill, meaning this was an area where there's aggressive buying at. Okay. Well, if it breaks this area of structure right here, you can look for uh, a pullback to continue to con take the trade in a continuation down to an area of demand. Okay. Meaning filling those gaps in where price is pushing hard to the upside. But in this case here, the market turned back around at the break in this area structure, broke structure back to the upside. Okay. You can see it right here. Pulls back, okay, so it made the first uh, high, higher low, and then boom, breaks higher, right? So at that point, you know, I'm looking for long entries. This is into the, this is, is into the yesterday session um, shortly after 11 o'clock, all right? And then the market just keeps uh, moving to the upside. Now, what happened here was that uh, there was aggressive selling to the downside, leaving gaps behind. When we got this break of structure to the upside, price has got to fill these areas going back up. You know, I'm not saying instantaneously or immediately, but at some point it's going to do so. So it did that. It made the first high break of structure here, pull back, higher low, higher high, pulls back here, okay? And then it pushes up, retraces kind of deep, and then it, it continues pushing higher. And I think I, I covered this in a video yesterday where I took this uh, a, a long entry, I think it was like, I don't know. I think the first contract, I got like 28 points on the second contract. I closed out like 21. I was aiming for this area here at 407. And it, come, it eventually got there, okay? It filled in all that area right here, all right? Then the market uh, filled that area in and continued making these smaller higher highs and higher lows, right? So when, as they continue making those higher highs and higher lows, I was looking for possibly maybe a break of structure above. But, you know, we don't control the market. It's going to do what it wants to do. Um, towards the close of the market yesterday, it then turns again and starts making lower lows and lower highs, breaking structure back to the downside. And that's why I took that trade into the overnight session because now we were moving to the downside. We were making new lows and new new highs at the breaking structure on the move uh, towards the close of yesterday's session and continue doing that into the overnight hours up until about 2 o'clock, okay? Um, and then, you know, around London time, things kind of shifted around. The market started doing what? Now, when, well, I started pushing back up. Let me go ahead and finish my sentence, guys. But... Uh, when it broke structure into the close of yesterday's session, look what it did. It started pushing lower, breaking structure here, okay? And then it moved within this swing right here, okay? So there was, uh, you know, price made a high here, higher low here, and then a higher high. So it pulled back into this swing here. Once it broke below, it started breaking structure to the downside, okay? Um, you know, and we have this area here where these gaps need to be filled here with this aggressive buying to the upside, Really nothing that's going to hold price back from wanting possibly to test this area here. So that's what I was looking at happening into the overnight hours for price to come back and start filling in these these areas where these gaps are, okay? Because we're breaking back into this swing right here. High, higher, low, higher, high, okay? So uh, it did so, okay, as it started breaking structure back to the downside. Now, it didn't break it through this area of structure here, so which means that we are moving sideways, okay? Now, take a look here. Again, it didn't break structure to the upside here. It made a new low here. It pulled back, made a lower high here. So it's either going to break structure to the upside or break it to the downside. And it hasn't done either or as of now. We've got a high here and a, and a low here. Price is moving in between that area, okay? It didn't come down there and break structure. Did not do that, okay? So at this point, price can do anything. I mean, it could turn back around and start breaking structure back to the upside. And then we start looking for what? opportunities to go long again right but i'm not trading into that time of the day or time of the hour of the morning because i'm i'm resting okay uh and that's during the london session all right but when the market uh prior to it opening back up okay it made uh this low right here okay all right it didn't break structure below like i said all right so it started moving higher breaking structure back to the upside then it turns okay makes another lower high here starts to break structure back to the downside it took out here at uh, 14,380 back to the downside. Okay. I'm kind of giving you guys an analysis of what took place over the last two days within the market. So, you know, be mindful, very, very mindful of, of what I'm talking about because this is when the market and how the market sets this up for itself up for a wedge, not breaking higher to break structure, not breaking lower to break structure. Okay. So it starts moving lower, breaking structure below 380. All right. When it does that, shortly after the market opened up, okay, it starts moving lower. At this point, once it breaks structure here, okay, yeah, you can start looking for 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 uh, short opportunities. But the, the thing about it was the market opens up, and I don't trade right after the market opens up. It pushed lower, okay, it pulled back, all right. So it made a low, lower high, and boom, broke structure here, okay. It broke uh, a you know basically a, a swing after making a 
low here, a lower high, and broke lower. So we formed a, a swing to the downside. So it was a structure break to the downside, okay? So once the market did that right there, all right, I'm looking for at that point, all right, are we going to continue, you know, possibly, uh, you know, breaking structure to the downside, meaning making lower lows and lower highs. But look what happens then. The market turns back around, around about 10 o'clock uh, this morning. Not yesterday, but this morning. It, it breaks through its first area of internal structure right here when it broke above 355. All right. So we got a nice swing to the downside. It broke structure right here below 320. And then it breaks below, I mean, back, excuse me, not below, but back above this area at 355, this, this, this internal structure area here. Once it does that right there, you can possibly look for interest to go long. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have gaps to fill here, fill here, an area to fill within this swing right here. Okay. All right. Now, when we start getting back up to this area right here, we got some resistance. Okay. So price is going to, you know, it's going to fight against us when we, the market's going to fight, fight, fight against us when we get there. Okay. We know that we should know that, but we broke structure to the downside right here. Okay. All right. We took out in, in, internal structure on the, on the rise to the downside and then broke below this low, taking out the full swing or breaking through a uh, major area structure to the downside. Turn around, took out internal structure here and at this point, you can be looking for opportunities to go long to fill in the gap right here. But you got to be careful. You got to be very, very mindful of what's going on. Now, at this point here, ultimately what I want to see, okay, to really let me know that I should be shifting my mindset to really start looking for longs, okay, ultimately, I want to see a major break of structure, okay? Breaking back into a, a this swing here, which was a, 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 you know, a major structure area right here, major structure point right here. Um... Once it broke back into that, into that, I'm not fully set on the fact that I'm going to continue looking for longs. Only looking for longs maybe back up to this area right here. The I'm not going to really start shifting my mindset to really start looking for longs, continuation of longs to go to the upside, move to the upside, until I see a full long structure break. This here, this big swing, that structure right there, okay? I like to see price break above the back end of that high right there, break structure right there at 453, Okay. Does it, has it done that yet? As of yet? No, it, it has not. Okay. So we're moving sideways. All right. We're really moving sideways. Again, we have this, this, uh, this high here, this low here, and price is, you know, developing structure in between. Okay. Now, again, if price breaks through this major area of structure right here, okay, to the top side, then yeah, I'd be looking for, you know, uh, uh, long positions. Okay. But then I got to be very careful because we're back at the tops right here. All right. Back up to the highs right here. So, uh, the best thing to do is really wait for, you know, a major structure break above 475. Price made a high here, lower high, boom, breaks above. Or it's going to price made a high here, a low here, uh, lower high here, and then breaks lower. But you can still trade within a range, but just be very careful. In doing so, what you're looking for, if you want to take longs, then you got to see major areas of structure being broken, okay? Even within a range, okay? Meaning this was a full-on uh, swing here, a big, uh, this is a break of structure to the downside. Look for a major area structure to be broken to the upside. Now, take a look what happens here. All right, so the market pushes up, taps into that zone right here, like I told you, okay? It fills in the gap right here. All right, so, all right, so it makes a, a high, it makes a lower, I mean, excuse me, a, a higher low here. It breaks structure to the upside here. Again, we are in a range, and within, even within ranges, you can have small structure breaks, okay? All right. We want to see bigger ones. We want to see the major swings being taken out to really give us that um, that that identification or determination that uh, the market is either going to push up or push higher. Meaning it's got to break here or break here. But we can still trade within a range if you know how to do it appropriately uh, correctly. OK, so it makes a high, higher, low break structure to the upside. OK. All right. Actually, it breaks it right here, then pulls back and breaks structure again. OK. Market shifts, okay? This is what I'm talking about. The market is consolidating. That's where it starts getting real tight. Market shifts, boom. Then it breaks structure back below here, here at 388. At that point, you could be looking for pullbacks to go lower. Where to? Aiming for this area down here lower, okay? Now, it doesn't quite get down here uh, to this, this, this area structure right here before turning back around and doing what? It made a high here, high or low, and breaking structure back to the upside. So, at this point, you can still be looking for, you know, pullbacks to go along because it's, it's, it, what it's doing is breaking, it's breaking structure within the range, smaller areas of structure within the range to the upside. So what you see ultimately going on right now, if we use a trend channel, is this right here. I'm just going to show you this. All right. 
uh, high, higher, low, higher, high, okay? Higher, low, higher, high, okay? Which means we're breaking structure to the upside within a area of a range, okay? So the area of the range is going to be like this right here, all right? Uh, let's see, like this, okay? See this? This is a high, major high, major low, price is moving in between, and now we've got this channel to the upside where it is breaking structure as it's moving higher. But it's got to really, for me to be really, you know, um, if I was someone, you know, someone that is inexperienced and just, you know, trading the major breaks of structure areas, Guys, I wouldn't get caught up in doing this, okay? If you're a new trader, don't get caught up in trying to trade consolidations or, or within ranges, okay? Because price is going to have to break here, okay? See this area right here? Break this high here and, and then break this major high here for a big, uh, you know, sh high, higher low, and higher high structure to be formed to the upside. So I'm, I'm just showing you guys this using, you know, the trend channel uh, di uh, diagram uh, two. To, to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. We are in a, in a, in a range area right now. And that's why uh, I did this right here earlier. Let's take this off here. Uh, right here, this is a wedge. You see this? This is a definitely an, an area of a wedge. And actually, it probably should be more so drawn like this right here. Show it. To, oops. Cancel that. Bring this out. Bring this lower. You can see it's wedging, okay? Not making a higher high. Not making a lower low here, okay? It's just in between. Understand that. Be able to picture things like that in your mind. If again, if you're someone that's new trading and and you don't have experience trading within a range, don't do so because you will get stopped out. All right. It is you know these are times in the market to where it's like today's not a good day to day to trade. Look tomorrow. Okay. But look for those major structure breaks. All right. And focus on those areas because when you get the the break of structure to the upside and then a nice pullback. I mean, in the overall structure break to the upside, then you can take the continuation going long. Break a structure below, then you can look for opportunities to, to take the shorts. But getting caught up in this mess right here will cause you to lose some money, all right? I just want to share that with you guys, kind of give you my thought process of what's going on. Uh, for anyone out there that struggles with trying to determine, you know, how to train, how to trade within a range or if, to, or if they should even be trading within a range at all, uh, I just want to kind of cover that from, from my standpoint, my point of view, okay? But I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I thank everyone who's currently sub to the channel. If, the, if you're a first-time viewer, please take the time to go ahead and sub to the channel because you're only going to do yourself the favor because I provide lots of content sharing you, you know, just, uh, you know, giving you uh, good, good, valuable content that should hopefully aid you in your own trading. I want to see everybody succeed. Um, if you're interested in joining our Discord community, please do yourself a favor. Find that link down in the description portion of the video and invite yourself in to the Discord, okay? But again, if you're not a sub, go ahead, click on the sub button. It's not going to hurt you, right? It's only going to it's only going to help you. It's only, only going to aid you in your journey, your path to become a great trader. As well, make sure to, to uh, turn on all your post notifications so you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. And last but not least, please drop a like on the video. Take care, and I'll see everyone uh, in the next video.